Hello you guys, it's Anna here. What is up? Welcome back to another video. I thought today I'd do um, a more fun, artsy type of video and share with you guys a few fun DIYs that you could do um, and use some items from the thrift store. And this video is in collaboration with Salvation Army Thrift Store. So I am just here to show you guys what you could really make use of and find at the thrift store and just also put your own creative spin to it. So this is the first DIY. I thrifted this beautiful glass frame and I've kept it for the longest time and so I thought I'd do something that was inspired by something I saw on TikTok. It's this beautiful koi fish pond that was painted on this glass jewelry box and I thought I'd do my own rendition for it and I'll definitely link down the artist. And the materials that you really need is just a paintbrush and some paint. You can use acrylic, you can use oil paint. I don't recommend using water paint because I don't think it's going to stick um, but I am using gouache paint which I will link down below as well in case you guys are curious where I purchased these ones. So right now I'm just kind of doing the rough sketches. Uh, they look like tadpoles <laughs> and I'm just kind of drawing that along to sort of frame out the fishes. And then now I am just putting on the lily pads and then I'm going to be adding the lotus flower. There's something about this that's just really like calming and freeing and I just, I don't know, I really find koi fishes are so, so beautiful. I also love what the lotus flower represents and the lily pads too. Anytime I come across lily pads uh, in a pond, they just make me so happy. And I'm always like looking to see if there's going to be like a frog on it. I haven't come across one just yet. And then after when I filled out all of the lotus flowers, I then just started to add on a little bit more color. Um, one thing I am learning, especially when it's like with painting, is when I'm looking at a subject, there's always multiple colors within it. So I just added a little bit of darker pinks, some yellow tones, and I just tried to make it look as realistic as possible. And uh, yeah, this was like the first time to just painting on glass. It went better than what I expected because typically I'm used to like painting on paper but I definitely see myself painting on glass more and also it's eco-friendly because you could just keep drawing on new things every time and just washing it off without having to waste paper. After that I then proceeded to add in all of the orange um, colors onto the koi fish to make it as realistic as possible. And then for the final tad bit of the piece, I ended up adding just some white and blue polka dots just to sort of like mimic water and movement. And this is how it turned out. I actually, I actually really dig this one. Um, and I love the colors with it too. I think wash kind of brings out a lot more of like a vibrant color to it. And I like that it looks very realistic and it's like the koi fish is flying around, not flying around, swimming around in my room. Okay, so for my DIY, I wanted to paint over this picture frame. I thrifted this from Salvation Army Thrift Store about like a month ago, and I just always, I love the framing around this, so I thought it'd be really nice to paint this flower with it.
this whole idea was inspired by a picture that I found on Pinterest and I just thought it was really really pretty kind of like represents um, more of like a vintage kind of look which also kind of goes in with the theme of like this beautiful frame <laughs> didn't want to make this one a bit too complex like the original photo I kind of wanted to just sort of like do my own thing as well um, so I just only drew like three simple roses I wanted it to keep it really simple and minimal because there was already a lot going on in the background with um, adding the book pages and I do find it a lot easier painting on glass so like that's what I did instead of like painting on the paper and then after that I'm just painting over the leaves of the roses and I'm just kind of like continuing just like blending out the colors And then kind of doing the similar process as the other uh, painting, I just kind of added on adding some different colors. Um, I noticed that there was a lot of like white tones, also a lot of dark tones to like the roses. So I just kind of try to blend that out and make it as realistic as possible. So after I finished painting everything, I wasn't quite satisfied with the color of the leaves so I ended up painting two of them uh, just like more of a darker bluer color. I just thought maybe it would give it a bit of a pop. Um, again I was just like experimenting and I just kind of like went with it. I ended up leaving one of the roses like just as it was. Alright, and so for the final step, I ended up putting the pages So I cut out the pages and just like placed them and then I taped it over just so everything like stuck together Nothing kind of fell apart and that is pretty much it that you will need to make your fun you know creative journal you need it your own book also a notebook some pictures stickers and pens and pencils um, tape and scissors just some things that you could use to kind of cut out and paste into your own creative journal notebook I always find that these are very helpful especially if you kind of feel like doing a bit of like a scrapbooking kind of thing um, if you just feel a little bit uninspired I find that this really helps kind of kick off a little bit of creativity and with this there's really no formula you just kind of see what you like and just put things together and so for me what I ended up doing was actually taking out <laughs> ripping out pieces of the pages from that book which was thrifted and honestly like it does kind of make me sad <laughs> ripping uh, pages from a book, but I am putting it to good use for this scrap journal and I kind of wanted it to have like a vintage sort of feel and vibe to it So that's why I wanted to add in some like film pictures also Polaroid pictures and also why I wanted to like cut out the pages from the book it Just kind of gives it more of like a vintage feel and look and one of my favorite things is I love pressed flower art So these stickers are really great and all of the materials that I am using I will link them down below And I feel like with this, it's really great because 
it's kind of soothing and really therapeutic in a way and time just sort of passes and i like the fact that you're able to just create your own little thing whatever is popping inside of your head um and this is also a great way to like set even maybe some visualizations set some good intentions if you want to manifest some certain things you can also like put your own spin to it as well So I found some scraps and this is like the great way to to collect things over time and I got this piece of paper with a quote from a, a tea bag and I just kept it because I really like the quote and I also um, had some old film strips and I just thought that would be like a really cool touch to add. And I also decided to add in just a little bit of a sketch. I just kind of felt like it was really empty on that page and I just wanted to fill up the space so I did draw a bird, a very mediocre bird. When you're doing this, try not to be too hard on yourself and just sort of like let go and just find whatever inspires you and place it onto this page. Also like add in your favorite quotes if you want. Um, the quote that I added was, you smell like love. I just thought, it's just a really beautiful quote, really simple. Those are all of my DIYs. I hope this also inspired you to go out and go thrifting and also like make use and reuse things that you find at the thrift store. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one and I will catch you guys in my next video. Have an awesome one. Take care. Bye.